That's right, Cornelius Fudge, Spider-Man is back in the MCU. After a month-long breakup, Disney and Sony have kissed and made up. All right, all right, there are kids watching. Marvel will now co-produce a third Spider-Man solo movie with Sony, swinging into theaters on July 16th, 2021. And Spidey will make an appearance in one more future MCU film, although we don't know which one. If we're just tossing out a guess, the next Doctor Strange movie might make the most sense because it deals with the multiverse. In Kevin Feige's statement on the New Deal, he did say, quote, Spider-Man also happens to be the only hero with the superpower to cross cinematic universes. So as Sony continues to develop their own Spideyverse, you never know what surprises the future might hold. It would certainly be a surprise if Doctor Doctor Strange 2 showed that Sony's universe of Marvel characters, home to Tom Hardy's Venom, is a part of the MCU multiverse. That would make it so Spider-Man can join Sony's superhero universe, but would leave the door open for him to come back to the MCU. It's worth pointing out that in the Spider-Gwen comic series, Gwen lives in her own alternate universe, but frequently jumps over to the main Marvel U to team up against villains and grab brunch with other Spider-Ladies. That could be the foundation of Peter Parker's movie future, but that doesn't explain how this new Spider-Man deal happened. Well, I'm sure Disney and Marvel saw how much the Spidey split upset fans and they decided to work things out in order to make everyone happy because deep down they know Spider-Man belongs in the greater Marvel Universe along with the other heroes he's forged strong bonds with and ultimately it was the right thing to do. So it wasn't all about money? Oh no, it totally was. The original deal between the studios had Disney only receiving 5% of first day growth, but Variety reports that the new deal sees Disney receiving 25% of the profits, and they will still retain merchandising rights and put up approximately a quarter of the financing. Personally, I think the deal was never actually off. It just got real public real fast and everybody called each other's bluffs and poor Tom Holland had to be all sad at D23 with that whole I love you 3000 thing. I'm just glad they figured everything out so we weren't left on that massive cliffhanger at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home. But what do you think of Spider-Man coming home to the MCU? Let us know in the comments. And for more news about people in tights, check out how Smallville's Tom Welling is joining the big Arrowverse crossover and how Marvel's joke X-Men character Gold Balls is now the most important mutant ever. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe for more IGN Now.